Hey guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. We're hanging out in the garden today and today we're doing a test. I'm hearing a lot lately that there is a very good method for using double cups for your seedlings that produces a way stronger plant. So we're gonna do a good old fashioned test and we're gonna trial to see whether or not these actually do make for stronger plants method that's essentially where you cut holes in the bottom of this middle cup and place your plant in the middle cup and then its roots will flow down into the bottom cup where some of the um, water and may collect and be sustained this is a, as opposed to just having it in one cup with holes in the bottom so we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to test it out we're going to try half of our mix in double cups and we're going to try another half in just regular cups to see if it actually does improve their abilities to grow and we have done this in the past using a double cup method it's actually proven phenomenally well with um, african violets it's actually the only way i successfully grow african violets and i have a video on propagating african violets you can check that out but i'm going to show you how we're going to cut the cups but it's essentially the exact same way that we use for the African violets. So what I've done is essentially just cut the sides off. Some people when they do this will actually poke holes in them with a drill maybe three holes. I'm going with this method because if I get a lot of roots at the bottom which I predict they'll flow down into the bottom and, and keep growing it'll be easy to cut out the bottom to get the root system out without breaking the roots as opposed to when they grow through little tiny holes I have to do a, quite a bit of cutting so we're envisioning good roots so essentially what's going to happen here is this is the bottom cup I'm going to place a rock in the bottom to give me some additional height and then we take this cup with the bottom here and put it on top and then the plant will go in here so i'm going to do a bunch of these cups up and all i'm doing for that is just clipping on the sides now for this test we're going to use my goliath tomatoes which are supposed to have great taste and that's this row here so these guys are going to be all the same so essentially all of our tomato plants in this test will be the same variety so there should be no differences Okay, our seedlings are all potted up. We've got them in two sections, but they'll be kept on the same tray and treated exactly the same throughout. So these guys will all get the same amount of sun, they'll get the same waterings, and they'll get the same fertilizers as we go through the test. So our back section is the ones that are the double cup, and this is our standard um, single cups, which we normally use with just the holes in the bottom. So we'll see if there's an actual difference in how these guys do and we'll come back to it. Guys, it's time to compare the results of our two different planting methods for the tomatoes. We have the double cup method and then we have the single cup method. So we're gonna take a look at how they've been doing them and growing for quite some time in these little pots and we're gonna see what differences did we discover. So there are not any immediate shocking differences between the two. Plant health is strong on both, the colors consistent on both, so there's absolutely no difference in plant health. The stem sizes are the same, there's no, there's no difference. So the last thing we've got to look at, and I do, I have a hint that these guys will have slightly better roots, but we'll take a look at the roots now. Okay, so we do have some very long roots growing down into the bottom of the cup with this one. This guy does have dangly roots too, but it wasn't obviously coming out the bottom of the pot. Okay, side by side comparison of the two. There is a better root system so far in the double cup method than in the single cup method, which I think is actually interesting. So I'm gonna open them all up and then we're gonna really have a good look to see if that's consistent. So these are the double cups, the root system is not consistent like these guys have weaker roots now maybe they got less fertilizer maybe something else impacted them these three are pretty strong and then these are the ones with the single cup and they're actually all fairly consistent this one on the end maybe is the weakest but overall like side by side to them there there's nothing here that is like Oh my goodness, I must change my method. Okay, my final opinion on the double cut method versus the single cut method is it's really not worth the effort for the double cut method. If you are gonna do the double cut method, great. Um, do the slits, definitely is gonna be way better than the holes. They slid out of this nice and easy. Um, 
but it it's unnecessary to me so for me it's all about timing you only have so much time in the garden every day and if you're spending it cutting up cups and also duplicating plastic waste um, it's not worth it unless there's really something there like oh my goodness the best tomatoes I've ever seen but as you guys can see the differences are so incredibly minimal I honestly would say you could base that on anything from the amount of fertilizer one plant got versus the other one. They were treated the same, but you never know, the fluid maybe didn't reach the roots, I don't know. But in general, I would say the method doesn't really matter and if you really want to save yourself time and save plastic, skip the double cup method and go with just a single cup, you will do just fine. Hopefully that helps you guys, be friendly, be kind.